post-traumatic stress all too often results in suicide. And occasionally it makes some headlines. Behind the stats, behind the numbers, there's some very sad stories. And this is one of them. In 2010, Raoul Mook was released from prison. He went around to his ex-girlfriend's place, shot her, shot the partner. And then he came across a Northumbrian police officer, a traffic officer, an unarmed officer in his car, and he's come up with the shotgun. Boom! Constable Rathban received over 200 pellets to his upper torso and face, and he was blinded by that shotgun blast. This is David with his family. He ended up to being separated, and in 2012, he hung himself. In his last final interview, before he took his life, he said this. I can't remember what my wife and kids look like. All I can see is Raoul Moat's face haunting me like Voldemort. If you're a member of the armed forces and you leave, there's a veterans affair to help care for you and support you uh, after you leave the military. But for emergency services, there's no equivalent of veterans affairs. David Rathbrain knew that, and so he tried to do something about it. He started this in the UK. It's a support network for emergency service workers, police, fire and ambulance. I hope it grows to include prisons officers and I hope that it actually grows and comes here to uh, Australia. Because right now, once you leave the emergency services, there's no further contact and you will take your experiences with you. And that can lead to suicide. And I initially had some thoughts of suicide. I won't go into that story uh, today, but I tell you the one thing that stopped me from taking my own life, because life was horrible, there was no joy, it was just a struggle. Being a police officer, I've seen the effect of suicide on families. And I said to myself, I can't do that to mum and dad. So this is a lesson I'd like to share. If you're concerned for a colleague, ask them, are you feeling suicidal? You'll be asking this quite often to people you deal with as your job, uh, as a police officer. You know, do you feel like self-harm? Do you feel like ending your life? And that. And there might become occasions when somebody's greatly affected by something. And I, I've asked colleagues this, and they've turned around and said, no, Greeny, I am all right. But I have pointed them, them in the uh, direction to receive some help. So never be afraid to, to say that. You don't do it out in public, you know, you just take them to the side, or it might even be over, over the phone, but have that conversation. Because uh, you might just end up saving somebody's life.